Hello, my name is Windy7 and welcome back to the corridor in B17, the Mighty Eighth. We're still going strong. Um We are a sadist still. As long as it's actually correct, yeah, a sadist. And we have a new crew, just due to wounded people. So let's go and see what our next mission is going to be. Going back again. We're going back. Once more into the breach. Same targets as last time. We already read all this. P-47s and P-38s. Damage high. What's the route that we're going to be taking today? Up north. Again, skirting the flak and the fighters until the last possible moment. And then making the decision. I would like to go after the Hyde, Heidi, or whatever oil production facility if we can this mission. Instead of going after the Euro tank or the Merc oil. Wilder oil production facility because overall we'll have to go through less flak by one field and I'm pretty sure that it's also weaker fields of flak than if we were to attack the Euro tank or the Merc Wilder facility but then again we do have to go through more we get closer to more fighter bases we'll have the possibility of more fighter attacks so either way not a whole lot we can do we've already signed our way out our life away we've already seen reconnaissance film let's get going the dapper express mission number four begins now start engines master switch on and I'll get us on our way and go in towards the target, and I'll bring you back when either contact is made or uh, we're at the decision point. So I shall okay, you see the three bomb symbols there. Three missions. So I'll see you then. All right, welcome back. And I'm pretty sure we're slightly lost because there should be no flak site where we are. Yet yeah, here is the flak. So I think we are slightly, ever so slightly lost. Uh, the new bomber to replace uh, uh, Chowhead. I already forgot the name, I believe that is Lady Maiden. So hopefully she doesn't go down on her first mission. But you never know. Better Merchant and uh, Bombshell Blonde are still with us. At least I'm pretty sure that's Bombshell Blonde. But then again, I could be completely and utterly, utterly wrong with the name. Like I was beforehand. We should be reaching the decision point soon, though. Once again, we are completely... Utterly uh, lost. This is the fact that um, that we're there, basically. Uh, let's actually go in and head over to the radio. Can I manual? Climb a little bit. And hopefully, no, not quite yet. Alright, this should be the decision point now, so long as we're not completely and utterly lost. Which we are, kinda. There we go. 
What's the water like at the primary target? Stormy. Okay. Secondary. And tertiary. Weather and tertiary target is believed to be fair with four tenths of clouds at approximately nine thousand feet. We're gonna go to the secondary target. Oh, she's already taken some damage from that flak. Uh, no smoking bombers yet. Everybody's still with us. Actually, I think she's the only one who took damage from that flak site. No, she's got a little bit there. Right behind the... In the waste section. Oops. Oh, um... Bombshell Blonde's got a little bit stabilizer damage. Doesn't that just fill you with utter confidence, the fact that the Navigator has no idea where he is? It fills me with utter confidence. Complete and utter confidence that we may bomb the wrong place. See, there's a town there with a C. So if we go back to the navigator and look at his map, we're like right here. Yeah, we're like right here. We are well off. If we were so far off, I'm surprised that... I'd be surprised if we actually managed to hit this target. Considering how far off we are. No wonder we flew through that flak field. At least when we did there, before hitting the decision point. Yes, thank you. However, I know where we are, so... And I know that you're hopelessly off course. So, I will... With that, uh... Heartwarming and... Encouraging news... Behind us, I will... Watching these guys. Watching the Federal Merge and see what she does. Okay, she's coming back. Wasn't sure what she was gonna do. A couple bombers are wobbly. But I will break it off here. And should anything else happen before we reach the bomb point, such as fighters and more flak, I will bring you back then. So I'll see you then. Right, we are now under attack by Flaxite, and we've already got a smoky bomber. So if we're in a flak site, that means we're flying over here. At least I think so. So hopefully nobody gets hit too badly. They seem to have fixed themselves. Might have been a fuel leak. Oh. Was that a wound or a scare? I think it was a scare. Okay. If you say so, Mr. Navigator, who is completely and hopelessly lost. If you say so.
I think that's Hamburg over there. <laughs> I guess we're going around again. Yeah, because we're like... We were there, we're coming in at that angle, actually. We were probably somewhere... I don't even know where we are anymore. Take around again, class leader. Oh, where are you going? Oh, easy, easy. <laughs> Oh boy, damage bombers. Doing a 180 degree turn. Oh, it took some damage to our wing and a couple hits to the tail. Anybody wounded? Nope, we're all good. You're just scared. This formation has gone all over the shop. There's one bomber way back there. Oh dear, no! That was two bombers that just collided. No, another two went. Well then. Oh, and here comes the flak. Yes, because we needed that. Thank you. Thank you. I think one of those was the Fetter Merchant. She's not where she used to be. And I think uh, Blade and Maiden might have also bought it too. Oh, Flack again. Oh boy, this mission has gone to hell in the hell in a hand back at hyper velocity. It really has. And of course, we got another 180 degree turn to make at the end of this. That's the worst part. We're going to have to make another 180 degree turn at the end of this. And then, with all these bombers going about, it's quite possible that someone will clip and more bombers will cl clip each other. I'm tempted to knock this off right now, send this all home. But, we'll see how it goes. If more bombers collide during this turn, I will RTB the formation. As long as we don't die. I mean, if I can RTV deformation, I don't know. I have a return to base option in the radio menu. Like, we are so incredibly far off. We're we're beside Keel right now, and the navigator thinks we're over top of Nurmister. We are so far off. Oh boy. Hopefully things improve for the future in navigation terms. Because this is quite the poor showing. Let's actually look and see how are we doing? I really don't know where we are. I don't have a clue. Because that just fills everybody with confidence. How are we doing fuel wise? One there, two there, three there, four is there. Okay, we don't have any leaks anywhere, that's good. That's what I was worried about. Having a leak somewhere. And then having 
Not running out of, running out of gas before getting home. Cause that'd be swell. So it doesn't appear that there's any more flak coming up to meet us. So I will break things off here again, and hopefully when we come back we'll be on the bomb run towards our actual target. Because you never know. We may go fly over Berlin or something at this rate. But I'll see you then. Right, welcome back. The formation has managed not to utterly destroy itself during the 180 degree turn again. So, once more into the breach. My question is, where are the German fighters? Considering we've been flying up and out, we, this is the second time flying down this stretch. I should think that they should have come looking for us by now. But, you never know. Perhaps we're getting lucky. But again, we're still off course. There's Hamburg over there. Actually, so as long as we stay on this course... What heading is your turn? I accidentally hit the M key instead of the 1 key. Wounded? No, just scared. Okay, so it should be a straight run right now. Negative. We are going straight towards what I believe to be Hamburg, and we are letting the Bombardier find his target, even though the formation is turning around. Because that is Nuremberg below us right now. Although... Yeah. He would have you believe that we were almost on Hamburg. Throttle, I keep on forgetting. Stop smoking engines, please. Hey, I just join formation. Just take over. I guess we're turning around now. I'll give navigator one last chance at this attempt and if he messes it up I'm sending us home so I'll see you when either we're gonna make the attempt again or So I'll give the navigator one last attempt, and then if the, he messes that up, I'm sending us home. So I'll break things off here, and I'll see you then. Welcome back. Once again, we're flying over this city, and in an attempt to actually give us a chance of doing this, I've gone and set on the map the initial point for the bombing run much closer in because he thinks we're here when we're really on top of this city so hopefully when he thinks we're here we'll be here and the bombardier will actually be able to see the target and then we can actually do a bomb run 
At least that's what I'm hoping. Oh, well, we got holes in our vertical stabilizer now. Didn't even notice that. The formation managed not to kill itself with that yet another 180 degree turn. Which counts as a win in my book. So now all that's left to do is to see if uh, anybody gets hit. There goes some P-47s. And it isn't looking like that. Looks fairly clear cloud wise over the target. I mean, it's not like a giant bank of cloud right here has, or over there where it's basically just cloud. But there is some cloud. And is that everything for right now? I think so. Unless Flax are shooting right now. Or very soon, I'm going, to I'm going to assume that that is everything for the flak. It looks like it. So, and just a quick little update: we are back on the bomb run again. Third time's the charm, and I'll see you when we're actually, hopefully, about to start bombing. Why don't you just take a look at the city directly underneath you? Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you then. Well, miracles never cease to happen. We are actually on the bomb run. Miracles never cease to happen. But we're still a little bit out from Hamburg. Even though he's saying we're flying right over top of it, we're probably just outside the flak field. It looks like the bombardier was lining us back up to make a swipe at the uh, thing, correcting for the navigator. Let's see what the bombardier can actually see, though. What can you see, Kaiser? Kaiser is back again. What can you see? Uh, basically nothing. Because of cloud. And distance, because we are stupidly far away. So... I'm just going to speed up time a little bit and hope that it doesn't stick. At least until we are very close and able to actually aim and everything. Actually, we should have a fairly good bombing run because we got gaps in the cloud and all that. Alright. We are approaching the limits, so let's slow her down. And he's got that selected there. That's the Euro tank. I know that. If K I want to look. There's the flak. Yeah, so I think he actually had the target fairly close, but not spot on. So we'll lock that back up. Yeah, I go back to it. And back into the flak we go. I'm actually going to go inside because it's slightly less loud there. At least for a little bit. Although I can't see what's going on outside with the other bombers. So no, back outside. Oh, that was close. Did anybody get hurt? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's just scared. Hopefully. 
hopefully I've turned down things enough so that uh, this doesn't cause any issues on the other end. I'm not seeing a spike on spike to the maximum on OBS right now, so that's a good sign. Oh, somebody's hurt. Kaiser's hurt. Uh, hold on, no, who's? I oh, know it's Uber again. No, it's French. It's Winston person Eggy. Eggy, could you go heal the new guy? Ah, no fire. Fire. Um, uh, you. Uh, fix the fire in the nose. Nope. Who? Who is hurt now? No, Kaiser. Um, uh, heal Kaiser. Uh, you. Go to the... Where's the bombardier? Bombardier station. Francis, um, is there a fire still? Okay, someone's already working on that, although it's quite smoky. Um, you're coming to fire extinguisher. Okay, good. Who's hurt now? It's Kaiser. And then he's getting out of the way, I think. And then someone's coming down to fix Kaiser. Oh dear. I don't know if we have time to drop the bombs before, before we're over the drop point. We have to go around again. Roy, uh, get on a waste gun. <laughs> oh, we got a smoky bomber over there. Alright, uh, Kaiser, no, I want... Who is the guy I sent to get on Kaiser Station? You. No. No, Kaiser, 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 stay. Kaiser, stay. Kaiser, get on Bombardier. It may be too late now. It may be too late. Oh, maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. Hurry up, Kaiser. Kaiser, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry. Hurry, man. Hurry. Okay. Manual. Shift K. Shift K. No! Kaiser! No, what are you doing? You! Hurry! Hurry! Hurry, man! Okay, there we go. Shift K. Shift... Shift K. Oh! Oh! oh. Hi! <laughs>
Well, let's see how this goes. Here we come. With the fighter escort actually following us in. And we're hitting some housing, and then there we go, we managed to hit it. Did a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. <laughs> oh boy. That was something. Right, boys? Time to go home. Good, nobody's hurt. Oh! Okay, she's still up. She's still good. She just took a direct hit, though. Oh, that was almost her wing gone then. Do you see that damage suddenly appear? Phew! Hamburg is a terrible place to come. Oh no! There goes a bomber! Nobody got out. Oh, there's Bombshell Blonde. She's hurt again. Looks like she's leaking fuel. Badly hurt as well. And silence. Yes, we should have now exited. Uh, Chris Mercer, you are a. No, no. You just. Go, um, left waist. Where's Kaiser gone? That's Timothy. Roy, Mark Fish, uh, Tailgun? Is there anybody at the Tailgun? Where's Kaiser at? Kaiser, get back to the Bombardier Station. Just go and traverse the whole plane again. Don't worry about it. Oof. Well. We're on the way home, at least. That's, that's a good... That's a good thing. Where does our esteemed navigator believe we are? Oh, Aggie deducts now. <laughs> He thinks we're about to come to a turn to go that way, which I wouldn't mind him thinking we turn that way. Okay, at least we're out of the flak zone. This should be the last flak, and hopefully... Pilot, navigator here. I am completely lost now. Hopefully there won't be any, uh... fighters, because there is quite a number of injured bombers. So I will break things off here.
and I'll bring you back uh, when either we land back at base or if something else happens. So I'll see you then. Well, we've managed to make it back. Um, I'm tempted to call Hamburg the Gates of Hell from now on, considering how that mission went. At least no fighters showed up. Mission debriefing, three bombers lost, and for low damage. Firm friendly losses, um, Fish suffered a light wound, Kaiser suffered a flesh wound, flesh wound, Mercer severe wound. Got some hits, but not a whole lot. I've got purple hearts, missing crews accounted for, Liberty Bell, crash in enemy territory, 10 KIA. Guardian Angel, crushing enemy territory. 10 KIA. Bombshell Blonde. Okay, so the one that I thought was Bombshell Blonde isn't Bombshell Blonde. Crushing enemy territory. 10 KIA. Well then. That was... Quite the, quite the, <laughs> um, quite the mission. Mission three, mission four, bond damage low. Still A status though, that's good. Medical file. Uh, Jana is still out. Get to set that mission out. She's lucky. Uh, Uber Warrior. After that mission, I'll gladly take Uber over this last guy. Current injury, medium wound. Uh, Avic is still wounded. And fish is wounded. Mercer is wounded. He's not gonna be able to the thirty first. That's all that. Well then, that was a interesting mission, to say the least. Hopefully the next one isn't back to Hamburg. Also known now from now on to the channel as the Gates of Hell. But I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time.